Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I am going to show you how I dome my coasters. And you can use this technique for any of your projects, not just coasters, but I like to do this because it eliminates the, the need to sand and then do a flood coat. And it's real easy to do. So I start out by um, pouring a clear layer of resin over top of my cured coasters. And you want to start with a little bit at a time. You don't want to pour too much and then have them overflow. So just keep adding a little bit and hitting with the heat gun and then add a little more. You want to give it some time to spread and just make sure that you don't have too much in the mold. Um, then I like to go around with a toothpick and get rid of any of the air bubbles that are trapped along the edges of the mold. Um, nothing gets me <laughs> more upset than unmolding a project and seeing little air bubbles on the edges. So I do this probably three or four times throughout this process. I don't have it um, shown in the video every single time I do it, but I do it, you know, like I said, three or four times throughout making these coasters. Um, always do a dust and hair check. <laughs> it's inevitable. Um, adding a little bit more to that one wasn't quite full enough. And then a little more heat. You could use a torch for this too, but I prefer a heat gun. I don't, uh, I don't like flames. <laughs> so if we come in for a close up, you can see that nice dome on the edge. And that's what you're really going for. Um, you want them to be very close to overflowing, but not quite. Um, it, it eliminates the need to sand and um, deburr or anything like that. So if you found this helpful or useful, please subscribe to my channel. I make videos like this all the time. And go ahead and follow me on social media. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.